What I thought a real man was growing up was someone who had the nicest cars, someone who lived in a huge fancy house, someone who had lots of money. And now I see that being a real man is not about that. I feel that being a real man is someone who is secure with who he is. Welcome back, Tam Fam. That was my social producer, Greg. Justin Baldoni is still here answering questions from the Tam Fam. Looking at Greg's uh, video, you talked about crossing your legs and how growing up you were told boys don't cross their legs and you made a conscious decision to cross your leg. Yeah, we were just talking about yeah. that. It's, you know, I'm sure a lot of you men can remember this, but when you are, you know, seven, eight, 12 years old, you start to do things and you'll just naturally sit yeah. down because it's comfortable yeah. and another boy will say, oh, no, 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 girls, uh, what, what, what are but you But that's gay? not what you do. I got yeah. somebody on the line here, Jonathan Roush, who's been waiting, watching live from his home in uh, Maryland. Mm. John, uh, um, what's your question for Justin, Jonathan? Uh, hey. Hi, uh, hi. Hey, man. Since going back to school post-COVID and being around other kids in person, specifically other boys, my wife Monica and I have noticed a difference mm. in how Liev handles difficult emotions like anger, sadness, mm. hurt, and fear by way of repressing them instead mm. of expressing them. This has led to occasional outbursts of deep emotion. How is it that we can best support him in expressing these more challenging feelings in a healthy way? Thank you wow. so much for that. That's a, great, that's a great question. First of all, the fact that you even asked means that you are way ahead because you're thinking about it. I really think it's important. I, I, I think it's important. Look, vulnerability is something that uh, there's so much resistance in sharing what we're feeling at that age because there's so much pressure that any pressure put on from a family is just going to cause him to go in more. Right. It's really important that it's modeled. Um, I would say that's the biggest thing. So as I talked about with my dad earlier, if you are having a bad day or if you're feeling things, which inevitably you must be because you're a human being, yeah. right? Share that with him. Let him know that daddy's struggling. Let him know that, man, I have anxiety today. And then encourage it. Don't shame him for it when it comes out. Um, I think that we need to see our parents be human. Yeah. So if you can tell him stories from when you were that age that were embarrassing to you or things that happened to you when you were younger, I think over time, it's not gonna happen overnight, it'll give him permission. And also just remember that all those things, that anger, that the, the sadness, um, it's all just because he doesn't feel like he's enough. Ah. So the more that you can remind him that he doesn't need to do anything to earn your love, he doesn't have to do anything to feel enough because he already is, the more he's gonna be comfortable wow. expressing those feelings. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Listen, we dedicated the hour, and I, I can't believe it. There's so many more things to talk about, so much more. But guess what? The book is right here. Oh. The Man Enough podcast is amazing. New episodes every Monday. Justin's book, Boys Will Be Human, is on shelves now. Everybody in the audience is going home with this guide. As Justin said, men are ready to have the conversation. Thank you so much. You're outstanding. You're the best. Thank you.